Do you have those tight hip flexors on you? I'm gonna show you three simple movements that are gonna help you reduce that tension for good. So if you're not familiar with my videos, I like to show three movements that go in sequential order, where first we wanna reduce tension in the muscles, then we wanna restore motion in the joint, and lastly, we wanna reinforce those changes with some stability work. More specifically, core stability when it comes to the hip flexor, because it's a common pseudo-stabilizer of the spine when we find ourselves in that extensive extension pattern. So the first move we're gonna do to reduce that tension is a triplanar hip flexor stretch. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but I'll talk you through it. So most of us are familiar with a typical hip flexor stretch where we tuck the tail or posteriorly pelvic tilt, drive hips forward, feel a good stretch through here. Great beginner move, but let me show you an advanced strategy to reduce that tension. So same setup as a normal hip flexor stretch where we get that good pelvic alignment and we're gonna move in three planes of motion. So first we're gonna start in the sagittal or the forward and backward plane. So I'm gonna throw my hands up as I drive forward, feel a good stretch. Then we're gonna work in that coronal or side to side plane where I drive hips forward and reach over the top, feeling a good stretch through the outside here. And then lastly, we're gonna work through that rotation where I drive forward and then rotate away from that tight side, feel a good stretch through there. I'll show you again from the front. So that forward and backward plane, we're throwing hands behind us as we drive hips forward. We're gonna reach over the top, feeling that nice elongation on the outside. Then we're gonna rotate away from that tight side. So to reduce that tension, you're gonna do five reps in each direction on each side. You could do all five reps of the same movement at once, or if you wanna spice it up, you could simply switch the directions. Go into that sagittal plane, that coronal plane, and then that rotational plane. And after I rep out my good five reps on each side, I already feel like that tension's reduced and I'm ready for my next movement. So with move number two, we're gonna restore that motion, specifically that hip flexion motion, because we wanna reinforce those changes we just made while reducing that tension. So sitting up nice and tall here, all we're gonna do is some hip flexion liftoffs where I'm thinking of driving my toes towards the ceiling without bending through the spine. I'm gonna rep out a good 10 to 15 of these on each side. Now you can do one side at a time or you can alternate. Regardless of what you like to do, it's really important to stay cemented in the ground. So you don't wanna compensate as you're moving. You just wanna isolate that motion through the hips like I'm showing here. Bonus movement, if that's too easy for you, you can use a yoga block or a dumbbell at the gym and you can enhance that movement with this hip flexion hover where you're going over an object, just trying to isolate more of that movement through the hip. So now that we've reduced that tension and restored that hip flexion movement, we're gonna work on core stability to help shut off those hip flexors for longer periods of time. So lying on your back, you're gonna bring your legs up into the sky, almost like if you're gonna do a dead bug exercise, but we're just gonna work on our legs here since we wanna reduce that tension in the hip flexors. First thing you're gonna do is try to get a good belly breath or a diaphragmatic breath, where I breathe into my hand pressure. I'm gonna hold that pressure as I slowly tap one heel as I eccentrically elongate that hip flexor with good core stability. And we're gonna rep out a good 10 to 15 of these heel taps on each side. Seems simple, but you'd be surprised at how much you're shaking. And if it is too simple, you can take it to the next level by going straight leg so you're really elongating that tissue as you have to control that good spinal positioning. Again, this movement may look simple, but if you zoom in on me, I'm shaking like the Dickens right now. Whew. I did way more than I would have just doing a passive stretch. And I actually feel like I worked out this area of my body without feeling tighter afterwards. So to recap these three movements, we did our triplanar hip flexor stretch to help reduce the tension in the hip flexors. Number two, we did that hip flexion lift off to try to restore that hip flexion range. And number three, we tried to put the stability back in the core and take it away from the hip flexor with that heel tap exercise. And by doing each of these in order, you're getting the best bang for your buck. And this routine only took three, maybe five minutes if you're really taking your time. And if you do this before a lower body day at the gym, you're gonna feel better. And ultimately the goal is to feel less tension, especially after you work out. Now, if these concepts made sense to you, where we do three particular movements to help reduce tension, let me know what body area you wanna see next. And if you struggle a lot with that hip flexor tension, I have a whole hip flexor reset program within my monthly membership. If that interests you, I got a seven day free trial. I'll link that in the description below.
And as always, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe so you know when my weekly videos drop.